So you'll be tying a Elker Caddis um, to start off the dry fly series, and this is a good example of a little size 12 Elker Caddis with a peacock body. <clears throat> and I uh, just wanted to show you, just give you a quick heads up on this pattern, and it's pretty straightforward tying the, the Elker, but uh, I think it's a good one to begin with. So. Wanted to show you that to start off with, and also uh, you can take a look at the uh, the links below if you go down below here, and you can see some of the other patterns if uh, you just kind of Google up dry flies. But wanted to show you a couple of different ones, and here is a stimulator, which is one of the classic uh, patterns that uh, has been used for number of different fish species but this is a great pattern we won't cover this one in the course here but I uh, wanted to show you what that looks like give you an example and there's even some kind of crazy when you think of dry flies stuff that looks like this foam fly a little grasshopper sort of thing but kind of all sorts of crazy things under the sun you can tie for um, for some of these dry flies so it gives you a little bit of a, a example of what we're going to be doing here and um, I guess the body material, uh, when you talk about what you need, a couple of things for a dry fly is the hackle and really tying with a really uh, a nice stiff dry fly because this is going to sit up on top of the water with these hackles. It's going to sit down in the water like this. So, um, But we'll be getting into more of these and actually this fly in a few weeks, and I'll show you how to tie it up. But... Uh, just want to give you a heads up on the Elker Caddis.